What's up, YouTube? This is Galactic God, and I'm here with Flatline Duelist. He's here to profile the Mermel deck that he was using in the most recent Duel video series. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get it started with uh, Mart uh, Monsters. It's going to be the uh, Atlantean engine. It's a triple Atlantean marksman, two heavy infantry, and one dragoons. It might be cut to one, uh, but it's still good. Whenever they're ditched for a water, monsters affect the trigger. One searches, one pops face up, one pops set card. Moving on to the Mermail engine, uh, three Mermail Abyssalin. It's basically a uh, recruiter for the deck, plus she does some really crazy shenanigan plays. Uh, triple Pike, this is what fuels the Atlanteans, and then when uh, you ditch a water, you bring out the level three water from the deck. Uh, three Mermail Abysteus. Again, this is also one where you can just special summon it, ditch one water card, and then get any Mermail you need currently. Uh, only playing two Megalo, three is too cloggy, plus him and Deep Sea Diva is still the uh, OTK, which is really good. And then you can ditch two waters to bring out uh, for Megalo. Uh, one Abyss Sturge, basically you need a way to recycle Gundy. Uh, this is probably the best way outside of Salvage. And then the one Gundy. Decided to go with uh, kind of like a rank four, rank seven deck. So I play two Aqua Spirits, just banishing spent Atlanteans or whatever. Allows me just to make crazy rank fours. Uh, the one title. Uh, Deep Sea Divas, obviously, have been mentioned before, uh, helps out with the deck, plus it gives uh, Dragoons a target. Then I play the uh, Controller and Undyne. This is just to help get stuff in the graveyard faster and kind of set up for crazier plays. Plus, uh, I play a couple Tuners, or a couple Synchros. Uh, three, Mystical Space Typhoon, Book of Moon, and Dark Hole for spells. Traps, it's Triple Abyss Sphere. It's pretty standard. Three, Reckless Greed. And then uh, one ofs that a lot of people don't really see in Mermail. Uh, bottomless Trapple, Warning, Torrential. And then the card that catches a lot of people off guard is uh, the Mirror Force. Moving on now to the extra deck. Uh, one Leo. If I open Controller and like Abysteus or even Megalo, I just drop a 31 uh, body on the board that's really hard to deal with. The one Black Rose Dragon. Just blow the board for no reason. A Mega Fan of Beast, Dragosack. This deck makes rank 7. Plus a uh, Mermail Viscaios. Effect Veiler on legs is really good. Uh, steal your monster. Bahamut Shark, this card uh, is nutty, especially with all the things that it can bring out, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Uh, one, Evil Sworn Exiton Knight, Lavalval Chain, Gaga Gaga Ga Cowboy. Uh, that's it for the rank fours. I'm sorry, uh, that's also a rank four, uh, number 101. Rank threes, play uh, Mermail Abyssrite. When she's sent from the field to the graveyard after being destroyed, you bring out a Mermail. Plus she has 28 defense, so you bring this out with Bahamut Shark. It's really hard to deal with. Number 17, this is going to be Levy Levier. Just didn't have one on me, so I decided to play that instead. Uh, Levy Levier allows you to banish stuff. It's really good in the mirror match. This triggers Atlanteans uh, as well. Number twos that I play, I play Armored Kappa. Uh, it's kind of like Gachi, but he can trigger uh, Heavy Infantry, which is really good. Uh, Digusto Phoenix, sometimes hitting for 3,000 is not bad. And then I mentioned already, it's one gachi gachi. All right, there you have it, YouTube. This was the Mermel deck that was used in the most recent dual video series. Remember to let us know what you think of it down in the comment section below. And I guess that's it for now. This is Galactic God. Out.